Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for more of our Gen Con Bonanza Explosion blog coverage brought to you by all of our amazing Kickstarter backers and, of course, these companies right here who donated games to help send us here and our big bad sponsors, Tasty Minstrel Games and Minion Games. Be sure to show them some love in the clickables down below. Right now, I'm very excited because I got a chance to try out a hot new release called Gizmos from Simon, formerly Cool Mini or Not. This is two to four players, ages 14 plus, take about 40 to 50 minutes to play. And this is a marble collecting game. So they have like this 3D structure you construct that kind of looks somewhat like a gumball machine. You're gonna throw all these multicolored marbles in there. Uh, well, there's black and yellow and blue, then red and different colored marbles in there and then six of them are going to pop out in this little tray right here. And you're gonna have four actions to do on your turn. You only do one action per turn, uh, which are file, uh, which is going to allow you to take one of the cards from there and then put it into what's called your archive. So essentially that's like saving it so you can build it later. Uh, you can pick, which is going to let you pick a card from I don't remember what the hell pick is actually. Oh, build, which is gonna let you build something manually from the row or build something from your archive. Research, which is gonna let you kind of draw a bunch of cards and then pick one that you like. Uh, and then pick, which I don't remember what that is. It'll come back to me later. But you pick one action per turn and it's, a, it's like a card domino game. You're trying to set off these chain reactions of your cards. If, if you're familiar with, uh, say, uh, b -b 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 Race for the Galaxy, where you would try and get like, you know, three or four cards that would all synergize well together. This is what it kind of does. So it'd be like, if you pick a yellow marble, then you get to take two marbles out of the thing. But if you're taking things out of the thing, then you get to do this. And so what you're trying to do is build this engine by connecting all these cards together so your turns will be super long and super cool and be building stuff and drawing dominoes. And the game ends when you've built a fourth level three card, because there's gonna be nine cards out, level one, level two, level three. That aspect actually felt kind of splendorish. And uh, as you go to level one and level two, level three, each card is gonna give you a unique special ability for your gizmo, and it's also gonna get you victory points at the end of the game. So building four of the level three cards, or 16 cards in general will end the game, and everybody gets the same number of turns. Um, so. I really like this game. I thought it was a very good to great game. I think with some more plays, I think this could get into the great echelon. So what I liked about it was just the streamlined nature of the game. It's a very simple game. It's just one action on your turn. And I like how there were paths to victory. There's multiple paths to victory because it's like, each of you is building your own sort of engine. So maybe you're going to be, you know, getting all these cards that'll make it so you can hold more marbles. Or maybe you're going to be doing it so that when you take a specific colored marble, you'll be able to draw a whole bunch from the uh, the little marble bag or the marble 3D structure. Uh, there was cards that did all sorts of stuff, and I like that aspect of the game. It felt like there was a wide variety of cards as well. I like the fact that you could like take cards and hold on to them so you can kind of block other people as well. So there was some player interaction in that aspect, and we played the game, and there were definitely some times where other people at the table would say, wow, that one's really gonna synergize really well with his gizmo that he's got going. So I'm just gonna take this card, I'm gonna archive it, because you know it's good for me too, but it'd be fantastic for him. So there was some player interaction, but not too much. Much. Um, the one thing that I thought was really interesting, and it I thought it was a con, but I actually kind of likes it, is if you're familiar with the game Dominion, this game towards the end feels a lot like Dominion towards the end if you string together a whole bunch of action cards. You're like, oh, buy one, one action, uh, one card, two actions, two cards, and I'm gonna play this card, which lets me draw three cards, and I'm gonna do this, and by the, by the end of it, you're like drawing your entire deck. That's kind of what it feels like in this. Like if you have a good turn, you can kind of maximize it and just do like a whole bunch of your different gizmo cards that you have in front of you. It's a really cool game. I liked it. I think it's very good, potentially great. I need to play it some more. Uh, I, de I definitely did feel like, I don't want to say that there's different paths to victory, but I felt like there was different paths to victory. Uh, we played a really close game. Uh, Joel Letty uh, got 35, I had 34, but it was it was super close, and we both had different strategies. Like my strategy was I had these two cards, which was um, the number of balls that I had in my power ring, and yes, that's actually a thing, uh, were, were giving me victory points at the end, so I was trying to get a whole bunch of balls in my power ring by upgrading my power ring so I could get my, my, my more balls in there. Uh, <laughs> And he had a completely different strategy where he was drawing a whole bunch of marbles each and every turn and moving things around. Uh, I liked it. I, I think this is a really cool game. I think it's the kind of thing where it's only going to get better too if they release expansions. You know, maybe more marbles, more cards, more different kinds of cards. I was really hyped on this game and I, I, I started playing it. I wasn't so sure, but I liked it. It's easy to learn, easy to teach. 
Um, 14 plus I think is about right because that's the other thing it feels like a family weight game but there's just so much trying to get these dominoes to you know fall over and trying to trigger all these different things that it's definitely not the kind of thing we're gonna play it with too many younger kids but I think if you have older kids this is a good family game and at the same time I think it would also go over well on game night but the only thing I don't like about it is the two to four player count but other than that that is gizmos from Seamont I really like this game uh, hopefully be able to get a copy and uh, explore it some more because very very cool game so that is gizmos from Seamont definitely one I recommend checking out I uh, I really enjoyed it if you enjoyed this review please sure to click on that that's not a review if you enjoyed what I'm doing please sure to click on that subscribe button down below and in the comments below let me know food trash what what will make you eat food trash do you have like a special condition for me personally it has to be on the top or it has to not have gross stuff on top you know like let's just say that there's like a half-eaten sandwich and it's on top of like a plate still but then there's like box inserts so maybe like somebody punched out a game that's on their top there I have no problem you know taking the box inserts off eating the sandwich but once you start putting some gross stuff on top anytime there's liquid on top of the stuff then I'm then I'm no game but let me know in the comments below do you have any food trash restrictions are you just like no go or you're just like I don't care I'll go all the way to the bottom and scoop it up let me know in the comments below <laughs> Thanks for your time, you too.